You cannot push him with your offering to speak. No, 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 no. You cannot push him to speak because of your offering. to speak because of your offering. You cannot push him to speak because of your offering. Praise God, hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? You cannot do what? Eh? Force him. Okay, for example, you came in the altar here. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I, I, I have nothing to say, O oh Lord. What I need, O oh Lord, it is you to make a way so that I can have the house. I know you are the God who answers my prayer. Lord Jesus, I need it this year to have my own house. My own house. This is my prayer before you. Thank you. Wow. No answer, no house. Hakuna majibu wala hakuna nyumba. Who has a money here? Nani ana hela hapa? Ana fedha hapa. Sound you go you put in the envelope. Unaweka kwenye bahasha. Oh like this. Hela nyingi kama hizi. I have now this offering. Mungu nina sadaka hii. One million. Million imoja. I know God. You are the God who answers my prayer. I'm going to give you this offering. What I want is you to give me house. Me to build a house. You go there. You lay down. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I give you this offering so that you can answer my prayer quickly. I want house. This is my offering. Just put there. My dear. The God whom I know still bado, he cannot answer. The God whom I know, still, bado, hata kujibu. This is a very tough word. It is too very tough. Very tough. Nigum sana. But I love the truth. Lakini naipenda kwenye. I'm enjoying when you know the truth. Na furahia unapoyijua kwenye. You know, it's not easy to to deliver kind of this message. Unajua sora is kutoa ujumbe kama huu. Because you know, in other places, you is a business. You know, when. Wazababu maeneo mengine ni ni biashara. You your business. Wewe ni biashara. You know what I'm saying? You understand? Una nielewa na chosema? You're a business. Wewe ni biashara? Yes. Ndio. Na kugonga mafunuo hapa na kuambia mpaka unatoka mtupu kabisa hata viatu utembei nazo. Unapigwa revelation mpaka unatoa line yako unaweka simu. Alafu Asha hizo wanakusanya simu, wanakusanya simu na viatu na miwani. <laughs> na handbag kama mpya mpya. Unapeleka kwa sababu zinauzwa kwa bei ya mtumba mtumba huko. Do you get it? But remember one thing. Kumbuka kitu kimoja. All the things you are doing here. Mambo yote haya unayofanya hapa is because you reach a level to doubt God. Ni kwa sababu umefikia kiwango cha kuwa na mashaka na Mungu. Praise God. It's because you little do it to doubt God. Ni kwa sababu umefikia kiwango cha kuwa na mashaka na Mungu. Why? 
Because last year I asked, I want God me to give me house. He did not give me house. I first I prayed. But now this year, I must force him. I must command him to give me house. Still God cannot answer. So your money cannot convince God. Kwa hiyo fedha yako haitamshawishi Mungu. Cannot convince God. Haitamshawishi Mungu. But still the prayer that you prayed before even giving the money offering. Lakini bado yale maombi uliyoomba na ukatoa sadaka, God is after those prayer. Mungu ndo anaangalia yale maombi. Praise God hallelujah. You know this prayer. Sio maombi haya. This haya is a convincing prayer. Haya ni maombi ya ushawishi. Forcing prayer. Maombi ya kulazimisha. This is forcing prayer. Haya ni maombi ya kulazimisha. You are forcing God. Unamlazimisha Mungu. You are forcing God. Unamlazimisha Mungu. Because last year, kwa sababu mwaka jana, you pray, ulimomba. And God not do it. Na Mungu akufanye. Like though you wanted. Kama wewe ulivyotaka. So this year, kwa hiyo mwaka huu, I must give God. Lazima nimpatie Mungu. 1 million. Milioni moja. So that ili kwamba he can answer my prayer. Ajibu maombi yangu. According to understanding. Kulingana na uelewa wako. God he cannot answer because of this money. Mungu hata kujibu kutokana na hii fedha. God, Mungu he will answer hata kujibu. because of the prayer that you prayed last year. Ye, kwa, Mungu hata kujibu kutokana na maombi uliyoomba mwaka jana before even paying the offering. Kabla hata hujatoa sadaka. That's why ndio maana when still God is silent. Mungu anapokuwa bado yuko kimya. When God is still silent. Mungu anapokuwa kimya. You prayed. Umeomba. No answer. Hakuna jibu. One year. Another year. Mwaka mwingine. You pray, you give offering. Ukatoa sadaka. Now is not a prayer. Sasa sio maombi hayo. Now is prayer attaching with offering. Sasa ni maombi yaliyoambatanishwa na sadaka. All the seed. Au mbegu. Still is silent. Bado yuko kimya. You run away. Unaamua kukimbia. Because you use all two ways. Kwa sababu umezitumia njia zote mbili hizo. Nothing happened. Hakuna kilichotokea. My dear, mpendwa, if God, kama Mungu, he want you, akitaka to rule, you will rule. Utawale, utatawala. If what? Eh? Unafanyaje? Utawala. Who can stop it? Nani wa kuzuia? Eh? Hakuna. Wa kuzuia. Kuzuia ustawale. Praise God hallelujah. Sifu Mungu hallelujah. Praise God hallelujah. Sifu Mungu hallelujah. I think it's someone is understanding what I'm saying. Ninafikiri kuna mtu anaelewa anachosema. I don't want you to love your father because the things sitaki umpende baba yako kwa sababu ya vitu no 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 Apana. i want to have in touch with your father nataka uwe na mguso na baba yako and if you are doing something na kama unafanya kitu do for the love fanya kwa ajili ya kutokana na upendo for the love kutokana na upendo nothing else na sio kitu kingine for the love Nothing else. Na sio kitu kingine. Praise God hallelujah. Msifu Mungu hallelujah. Do what? Eh? Fanya kwa nini? For the love. You will see God. Utamwona Mungu. Praise God hallelujah. You know one day, unajua siku moja, ah ah in those days, nyaka siku za nyuma huko when my father was still alive baba yangu speech of father wa kiroho ambapo alipokuwa anaendelea kuishi prophet tb joshua nabii tb joshua i know after meeting with him what happened in my life i know mimi najua nilipokutana naye nini kilitokea kwenye maisha yake i'm not a person who love to show off something mimi sio mtu wa kupenda kuonyesha vitu praise god hallelujah i'm not there sipo huko i know time it will come najua wakati utafika praise god hallelujah because god is operating silent kwa sababu mungu anatenda kazi kimya kimya is silent for the reason. Yuko kimya kwa sababu. Praise God and Msifu Mungu hallelujah. So uh, I, I, I was in the loom. Nilikuwa chumbani. Was one of the man. Na mtu mmoja. He was a man of God also. Alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu. So we were there in a prayer mountain together. Tulikuwa naika kabla ya maombi pamoja. So we were sharing we were sharing the loom there. Tulikuwa tuna 
Tumia chumba pamoja. You're saying, ah, where is your church? Akasema kanisa lako liko hapa. Said, have a church, you know. Nikamwambia nika sina kanisa. But I'm ministering in the house of God there powerful family ministry. Lakini natumika katika nyumba ya Mungu pale katika familia nguvu ya Mungu. Okay. Praise God. He said, who is the owner of the church? Are you, are you, you, are, you are under who? I said, Jesus. Ah, okay, fine. It's, 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 my language was a different, difficult language too. Yangu ni lugha kwa. Praise God, hallelujah. Mungu, hallelujah. You know, sometimes you must be very careful with your words. Lazima uwe sana na maneno. You may find yourself Unaza taking place removing Jesus. Na umemondoa yesu. Okay. Praise God, Hallelujah. So you said, you know, I'm here purposely. Yeah, I just give my offering. I say to God. offering. everything that man of God want is. Are you know what I'm saying? Yeah? upako wake wa ilingi si wa nini naye pia ukae kwako ka wewe kwenye sadaka kaanda sadaka ya ibi sadaka ya sadaka ya ibi I look at him nikamwangalia <laughs> I said nikasema <laughs> I said he said you know man of it's all about being connected anasema ni kuunganishwa I, I, I told him nikamwambia you don't need to use those energy hautaki yui kutumia nguvu nyingi mno God he cannot bless you like the way he blessed Tibi Joshua. Mungu hawezi kukubariki kama alivyobariki Tibi Joshua. He may bless you more than Tibi Joshua. Anaweza kukubariki hata zaidi ya Tibi Joshua. So you don't need you no need to come here. Kwa hiyo uhitaji kuja hapa because you want something. Kwa sababu unahitaji kitu. Come here because you have seen God and you came to worship God. Njoo hapa kwa sababu umemwona Mungu na umekuja kumwabudu Mungu. He said no man of God. Akasema hapana mtumishi wa Mungu. Offering speak. Sadaka inazungumza. Offering speak. Sadaka inazungumza. The blood of Jesus is speak more than any offering. Sadaka ya damu ya Yesu inazungumza kuliko sadaka nyingine yoyote. The offering of Jesus. Sadaka ya Yesu. The offering of Jesus. Sadaka ya Yesu. Speak louder before God. More than any offering in this world. I mean the, the offering of Jesus. I mean the blood of Jesus. As he said the apostle Paul. Tuna utasiri wa kupaingia mahali pake patakatifu kwa damu ya mwana kondo. He said Paul. Sasa tuna ujasiri. Sio kwa sadaka, tunao ujasiri. Sio kwa sadaka za za wanadamu hapana. Tunao tunao ujasiri wa kupaingia mahali pake patakatifu bila kupingwa kwa damu ya mwana kondo. We enter there tunaingia pale and we speak what we speak na tunazungumza tunachotaka kuzungumza through the great offering of the blood of Jesus kupitia sadaka ya damu ya Yesu Kristo you may say prophet you don't love money unaweza kusema nabii upendi fedha yes i don't love money i love the truth ni kweli sijapendi fedha bali naipenda kweli so you can see kwa hiyo unaweza kuona so that man of god yule mtumishi wa Mungu when he look at me aliponiangalia he saw me like a person who is a failure man akaniona kama ni mtu wa kushindwa moja kwa moja I know nothing about the word of God Na sijui chochote kuhusiana na neno la Mungu I loved at him nikamcheka because he don't know the blessing of God that is upon this ministry Kwa sababu hakujua baraka za Mungu zilizoko juu ya hii huduma This message Unajua ujumbe huu is removing us from doubting God Unatondoa kwenye kuwa na mashaka na Mungu If I could love force Ningependa uongo. There are a lot of teaching there that can take your money. Kuna mafundisho mengi ambayo yanaweza kanisababisha nikachukua fedha yako. I'm telling you. Nakwambia ukweli. There are many teaching there. Kuna mafundisho mengi sana. Mene. Mengi. There. But all those things. Lakini yote hayo. Can bring pain in me. Yanaweza kuniletea maumivu mimi. Because I know what I'm teaching. Kwa sababu najua ninachokifundisha. Is force. Ni uongo. I'm after life not Jesus. Naangalia zaidi maisha na sio Yesu. So 
I'm living because of people not Jesus. Kwa hiyo ninaishi kwa sababu ya watu na sio kwa sababu ya Yesu. I start with truth. Nilianza na kweli. I will finish with truth. Nitamaliza na kweli. If God you want me to be blessed, Mungu akitaka nibarikiwe, I will be blessed. Nitabarikiwa. If God you want to raise my children and my spiritual sons, to Mungu do for God, they will do for God. Mungu akitaka kuinua watoto wangu wa kiroho wafanye kwa ajili ya Mungu, basi watafanya kwa ajili ya Mungu. Watafanya. No, I should not use all those strings. Sitatumia nguvu zote hizo. Unajua Ibrahim Unajua Ibrahim hakuwa rafiki wa Mungu hivi hivi. Ibrahim alimtoa Isaka. Angalia jinsi wewe unatoa nini? Ibrahim Isaka Ibrahim Isaka ndio andiko hilo hilo. Mjaribu Mungu kama alivyomjaribu Ibrahim, mjaribu Mungu na kuambia leo hii mjaribu Mungu wangu. We receive this gospel from Jesus Christ. Tumeipokea hii injili kwa Yesu Kristo. And the main gospel. Na injili kuu it was not concerning offering. Hai ilikuwa haihusiani na sadaka. It was concerning relationship. Ili husiana na mahusiano. It was concerning what? Relationship. Ili husiana na mahusiano. People they should not doubt God. Watu wasio na mashaka na Mungu people they must believe god is with them wa mungu watu waamini mungu yupo pamoja nao people they must respect god watu waheshimu mungu if they give offering they must do from their heart wakitoa sadaka basi wafanye kwa mioyo yao people they must be involved in the work of god watu wahusishwe kwenye kazi ya mungu they must be there wa, lazima wawepo you, you must make people to live i mean to serve god is is their father tuwafanye watu kwamba kumtumikia Mungu ndio baba yao yes they will do it for love watafanya hayo kwa upendo not if you do this ukifanya hivi you will see i'm telling you i assure you utaona na kuhakishia if you do this ukifanya hivi i assure you na kuhakishia those are lies huo ni uongo that's why you don't see joy in the heart of christian ndio maana hauioni furaha kwenye mioyo ya wakristo sasa pain i'm telling you na kwambia ni maumivu there are some people they are white now they look black kuna watu walikuwa ni weupe siku hizi ni weusi Praise God hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying. Why? Because they are more in life not relationship. Kwa sababu wako kwenye maisha zaidi sio kwenye mahusiano. God he value relationship more than our offering. Mungu anaheshimu mahusiano kuliko sadaka zetu. Praise God hallelujah. God he value the relationship. Mungu anathamini zaidi mahusiano. He value relationship. Anayathamini mahusiano. That's why when Jesus he died. Ndio maana Yesu alipokufa. It was purposely. Ilikuwa ni kwa kusudi to restore the relationship. Kuyahuisha mahusiano. Nothing else. Na sio kitu kingine. This what God he value. Hicho ndicho anachokithamini Mungu. That's why no maana for those who love God. Kwa wale ambao wanampenda Mungu. Even if he silent. Hata akiwa kimya. Still is a confirm bado anathibitisha God is with me kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja nami He loves me ananipenda He loves me ananipenda Praise God hallelujah Sifu Mungu hallelujah Praise God hallelujah Sifu Mungu hallelujah Praise God hallelujah Can you clap a hand to Jesus Yes yes mako If you take this message Ukichukua ujumbe huu today leo I am telling you. Nakwambia you are going to see a great breakthrough. Unaenda kuona mpenyo mkubwa. You are going to see a great what? Great breakthrough. Unaenda kuona mpenyo mkubwa. Confess with your wife. Kiri wewe na mke wako. Confess you and your children. Kiri wewe na watoto wako. Tell them to live the life of confession. Ishi maisha ya kukiri. God he loves me so. Mungu ananipenda sana. Jesus he loves me. Yesu ananipenda. Jesus he loves me. Yesu ananipenda. You must make it in your family they must know that it's Christ. Lazima familia yako ijue kwamba ni Kristo tu is available there. Ndiye anayepatikana hapa. Praise God hallelujah. Sifu Mungu hallelujah. Praise God hallelujah. Are, are we together? Tuko pamoja. Are, are we together? Tuko pamoja. You know. Unajua. You know one thing. Unajua. Let me tell you one thing. Ngoja nikwambie kitu kimoja. Now I'm I'm finding scripture to take your money. Sasa natafuta andiko la kuchukua fedha yako. Utaendaje kwa nabii mikono mitupu? Haiwezekani. Eh nabii utapata sababu ya nabii. Other things. 
yote hayo me have never done all those things sikuwahi kuyafanya hayo but the people they are blessed lakini watu wamebarikiwa people they are blessed watu wamebarikiwa i have never done all those things sijawahi kufanya mambo kama hayo i have never done it sijawahi kufanya hivi kwamba si kitu tunataka nabii utamwona nabii utabarikiwa i have never done those things sijawahi kusema mambo kama hayo but people they are blessed lakini watu wamebarikiwa testimony to testimony napokea shuhuda kwa shuhuda kwa shuhuda kwa shuhuda one of my son is in america there mwanangu mmoja kwa marekani kule he was just following through youtube alikuwa ananifuatilia kwa mtandao wa youtube na facebook what the message that after following baada akaniandikia ujumbe kwamba baba baada ya kuanza kufuatilia my life has changed maisha yangu yamebadilika yamebadilika always i'm following the, the, those mass prayer napofuatilia maombi na ufanyika hapa my life has changed maisha yangu yamebadilika now i have a best job sasa nina kazi nzuri i was staying with my the house of my brother nilikuwa nakaa kwenye nyumba ya kaka yangu but now i have lent my own house sasa nimepanga nyumba yangu mwenyewe simple ni rais very simple ni rais sana very simple rais sana truth can light kweli imebeba nuru truth can light kweli imebeba nuru and the light na, kwe, na nuru the life of the children of god ni uzima kwa watoto wa mungu you can stand up unaweza kusimama keep watching bog family tv jesus christ loves you